Happy Arvo. Hello. Whoa. Hello. <clears throat> okay. I'm okay. Um, today I'm playing around with some AI. I said, make me a multiple choice quiz with 10 questions about Australian slang. Start with the first question. Tell me if I'm right or wrong, then move on to the next. Do you understand? Do you understand, robot? Yes, sure. I could create a multiple choice quiz. Okay, first question. What does the term chuck a sickie? Is this bad, guys? Like, what the, what the hell does that mean? Chuck a sickie. Throw a party to call in sick to work to go on a hike. Oh my gosh, it's gotta be B. That's funny. To chuck a sickie. <laughs> I love that. People actually say that. I'm gonna chuck a sickie into work tomorrow. Let's stay out and drink. Fair dinkum. What does the term fair dinkum mean? Um, I think it means, I mean, I, I, I know that it's um, A. I mean, it says someone who is fair and reasonable, someone who is foolish or silly, a type of Australian dessert. <laughs> okay. You know, maybe the multiple choice makes this almost too easy. Arvo. <laughs> it's a type of bird. Oh, it's a freaking afternoon. What does servo mean? Isn't that like the gas station? Australian car shortening of service station. Australian snack. Yeah, that's a, that's a weird one. Servo. What does the term brekkie mean? Brekkie. If I had to guess, that's some kind of like... It, I mean, if I had to guess, it just means breakfast. A type of Australian breakfast food. A shortening of break dance. A type of Australian dance party. I, I got to go with A. Oh, it is just shortened version of breakfast. So it was kind of wrong about it being of a type of food. AI is weird. Um, what does the term thongs mean? Well, we all know that. <laughs> it's what? A type of Australian beach wear? Yeah, I, I guess so, but... Why is that how they describe it? That is so vague. Obviously, it's that's the answer because it's not a fish or dessert. But, you know, it's sandals. What type of... What does the term oot mean? Isn't that... I don't know. Oot? Australian reptile... Australian vehicle, that would make sense. A utility vehicle. A utility vehicle is parking outside my house right now. The heck? <laughs> uh, it's kind of weird. Unmarked white van. Hey, if this is the last video you guys ever seen of me, then I think Doc Brown is about to kidnap me. The plutonium. Um, okay, so I'm going with B. This is getting pretty exciting. I mean, we're on question eight, and I've got them all correct. What does the term esky mean? An Eskimo, an Australian bird, an Australian fish, or an icebox? It's an icebox, isn't it? It's like an Eskimo, like cold. Yes. I feel like if I was going to lose, okay, a bogan. I think that's just an idiot. Someone who is sophisticated. Someone who is uncultured or a pastry. It's uncultured. Yes. Okay, we are on 10 for a perfect score. What is the term root? I learned this just the other day. Yes, it is C, which is so weird. Yes, perfect score. I don't understand how to use that in a sentence. Like... They, you know, I was, my neighbors were rooting all night long. <laughs> so I couldn't sleep last night. Um, wow. 
Uh, perfect score. What can I? How, how did I do? I mean, I want Chat GPT to be like, "Wow, you did an excellent job. You got all the questions correct. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much." <laughs> Woo! I'm pretty. Ex- I'm pretty happy about that. I mean, it was multiple choice, so you know, those are always the easier tests. Like in high school, you're always happy to get the multiple choice because that way, even if you didn't study, you're still gonna get 33 percent. If there's three, ch- you know. But I'll take it. I mean, that's a huge win in my books. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And I hope that was at least somewhat entertaining. This picture of me is like literally 10 years old. Look at my hair. Anyway, I hope to see you guys tomorrow or the next day, whichever, you know, whichever day goes up. This week in Australia. <laughs>